a slam dunk for those looking to get a vasectomy. Joining us live is Dr. David Crawley, a urologist with Hartford Healthcare Tallwood Urology and Kidney Institute. Doctor, welcome. Thanks, Lisa. So tell us, what is a vasectomy and how does this procedure work? Uh, vasectomy is a permanent type of birth control. It's a, a small procedure that's done in the office under local anesthesia. And what we do is divide a small tube called the vas deferens that men have on both sides. That's the tube that carries sperm. And so after a vasectomy, there's no sperm in the ejaculate and that's what prevents pregnancy. All right, tell us about what can men expect when it comes to recovery? Well, that's probably the thing guys are uh, afraid of the most, but really the recovery is not so bad, especially if you're able to take it easy for the first couple of days. And that's really one of the reasons why this is one of the most popular times of year to get a vasectomy because uh, men have the perfect excuse then to, to lie on the couch and watch the NCAA tournament for a couple of days. Um, some ice packs in the first 24 hours can really help to minimize pain and swelling. And uh, usually you can get back to work within a few days and are fully recovered by about a week out. Uh, any post-op discomfort is usually managed with Motrin or Tylenol and um, it, it goes pretty well for most guys. All right, doctor, if men are watching and they're considering getting this procedure, how do you suggest they start? The first step is a consult with a urologist, someone like me. Um, the doctor will bring you into the office and take a history from you and do an examination to make sure you're a good candidate for a vasectomy and also go over the procedure in detail, the recovery and all the risks that are involved. And then you can be scheduled for a vasectomy. Um, so if, uh, if anyone is interested, we, there's still some time to potentially get you done during this year's tournament if you give us a call um, at the Tallwood Institute. Doctor, who is a good candidate and who is not? Uh, well, it, it can vary based on um, the shape of, of guys, you know, your, your size and uh, potentially if people have had surgery previously. It's really important for the urologist to do an examination to make sure that the vasectomy can be done safely and comfortably in the office. Um, so that's what the consultation is all about. All right, Dr. David Crawley, thank you so much for the information. Thanks for having me.